What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Niall Campbell with WHET Digital, and I'm here joined by the multi-talented, the one and only, Danny Lay. Yes. Danny Lay. Okay, yes. so what would you describe your sound? Um, my sound, I think my sound is a vibe. Like, I think everything that I do is, like, you can either just chill to it, you could dance to it, you could just, it's always just, like, a groove, it's a movement, because I'm a dancer, so anytime I'm making music, I'm always, like, in the studio dancing. Even if I'm doing, like, a uh, R&B joint, like, it's easy, you know what I'm saying? It's still something you could dance to, so, I don't know, it's a mixture between, like, R&B, hip-hop, and yeah, bye. Yeah, it's literally a vibe. She sings, she raps, and then you dance. Yeah. So we have to talk about like your history with dance because Little Birdie told me that you worked with a legend by the name of Prince. At what age was it? Were you working with Prince? 18. 18 years old yeah. when she was choreographing with Prince. Can you tell me about that experience? Yeah, for sure. Um, he found me somewhere online. He never told me where it was, but he found me. I got an email one day and it was like, Prince wants you to direct his video. So he gave me like a full budget. I wrote a whole treatment. He loved it. Gave me full creative like control over it. Did the video after that. He like mentored me. He actually put me on the Essence Festival like years ago when I was 18. It was my very first live performance ever. So yeah. That's you know. dope. And then you just did a video with Chris Brown, Easy. You brought that up. Which like Chris Brown just a crazy dancer. But you got to like, didn't you like choreograph it like with him? Like I told him. I was like, let me teach you how to dance real quick. What's up? Yeah, like, really how she started the video. I was like, oh, Danny Lay out here telling Chris Brown how to dance. <laughs> right. What was that like working with him? It was so cool. He was such a good, like, pleasure to work with. He's mad funny, mad nice. Like, the whole crew, he, like, came in, shook everybody's hand. It was just a pleasure. Like, it was a vibe for real. Like, we just kind of just vibed so well together. Even us freestyling, it looked like choreography because it was just so effortless, you know? So. so as you're, you know, starting off in the industry, right, you're young. You're 24. Four. You're under 25, bro. Like, this, she's literally <laughs> taking you over. You're under 25. But what would you say is like one of the biggest challenges being a young artist? Um, biggest challenge being a young artist. Um, hmm. What would I say? I mean, I think my age is is perfect where I'm at right now. I think I've been in this game since I was 16, really, because I moved to LA when I was 16. So You're that old. yeah, I'm low key <laughs> old. <laughs> I don't feel like a young artist yeah. for real, because I've been doing this forever. But so you're 24, like, yeah, yeah, so you I'm still yeah. young. Yeah, yeah, but I don't think there's challenges. I think it's like a perfect age. I'm 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 climbing up there. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like. It gets me more motivated, I would say, to just like be get more wins and stuff just because of my age. But I'm good. Like I like my age and where I'm at. Feel accomplished, you know. So golden year, you've taken over. We got the album. What can we expect this year? Um, my next album, my second album, I just got approved by Def Jam. I know, it's still coming out already. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I gotta keep coming with it. I'm the type of artist like it's like my albums are like the chapters in my life. So if I'm like I'm in the process of recording always because I be moving and then studio moving. So all the songs are fit to where I'm like going now. So I wanna just put them out like and just show people how I keep evolving too. Cause I'm a new artist and I feel like more music the better. It just only helps, you know. So new but seasoned. Facts. Like yeah, yeah. new season yeah and I'm so excited to see everything that you do um, so I do have to ask one last question the theme for essence is party with a purpose so if you could choose any album what would you say is a soundtrack to your life first I thing mean, that my comes album what's up <laughs> <laughs> that's the really the soundtrack to my life okay. but that's um, not your album. right let me think um, I like that though she said my album it really is yeah. <laughs> um, what would be the soundtrack album to my life Maybe something that you grew up listening to, like I know, up. I know. Uh, hmm. Damn, I don't know. That's a hard question. <laughs> Is there something I on your head? I tell people all the time, it's not that it hard. In my head? There's something that's like right here that you're thinking of, but you're like, "Is it really?" Yeah, yeah, right. Um, I'm trying to think. <laughs> Damn, I don't know. This is horrible. I'm sorry, guys. I can't think of nothing. <laughs> it's okay. Well, to your album, you yeah, can say. All right. The plan. It the really plan. is the soundtrack to my life because it's me. <laughs> okay. And this next album, can we get? Uh, is there? Do we know the name or are we I like? Don't, I don't have yet? it right now, and I don't want to put it out there. I have a couple like things that I'm like, okay, that's probably what it's end up gonna be. Yeah, yeah, but nah, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so you're performing tonight at the Come Up mm -hmm. Essence After Dark. Yeah. I'm excited. Are you excited? Coming? I'm gonna I try to excited, come. Yeah. I'm gonna like come literally from here, from Missy. I go on at 1 a.m. So oh. It's like late, late, for real. Oh, we got <laughs> People lit already, so I'm, I'm hyped. I'm excited about okay, it. Okay, so I'll come just for you at 1 a.m. Thank you.
I mean, it's not the wake up at seven, but it's okay. All I'm good. Just Come on. It's the lifestyle. It's the lifestyle, right? <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. This has been an exclusive interview with the one and only Danny Lay. Thank you guys for watching.